The Sunday morning, July 14th, uh, at 2.18 a.m. I remember that, 2.18 a.m. I just had the port put in on Friday. So yeah, I get home Friday evening, it was a day surgery. You know, I kind of sit around all day because you know, I've got glue, it's not stitches. They got some stitches in there, but it's glue, that medicated glue, I got a big old patch. I can't take a shower for 48 hours, that's kind of gross. And so I'm really looking forward to Sunday because I can get a shower, I can take the patch off, I can start getting back out. So I just sit around the house all day Saturday, you know, kind of just probably what I shouldn't have done, just sitting around thinking about it. Go to bed early. Didn't have any trouble going to bed. You know, I was amazed. The, just no anxiety. And I, I couldn't understand that. I even remember on Saturday night, the 13th, thinking, you know what, the, man, I must be doing really good because I have had no, no major anxiety. And uh, I don't even remember when I went to bed. I went to sleep so fast, I don't remember the radio being going. And then I wake up in the middle of the night, pitch black. I, again, I don't hear the radio going. And uh, sweating, heart racing, my breathing is, is, is racing. You're talking about a full-blown anxiety attack. So whatever I thought about the night before, it's on, okay? I'm sweating, the bed's soaking wet. You know, I, I can't. You know, my, my heart's racing. My breathing's uh, is is out the roof, and I just remember starting to pray and start saying, you know, God, I need your help, and that's all I said. And I hear music, I hear the radio going, and there was a song that was playing on the radio, and it's called "God's Not Done with You" by Tarn Wells, and I just remember that talk. You know, the 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 part of the song that that I that I heard was, you know, even in your broken, you know, it, it feels like the end. God's not done with you. God's not done with you. And I kept thinking, man, are you speaking to me? I mean, is that about me? And I just kept hearing that God's not done with you. And all of a sudden I started, I started, you know, feeling my heart slow down. I started feeling my, 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 my breathing slow down. You know, I started feeling really uncomfortable about laying in a wet bed because I'd sweated so much. And I just started relaxing. And I just felt a peace. I felt, you know, comfort. You know, I felt, uh, I felt assurance, not about the outcome. And I think that's the moment God basically said, okay, you know, I've been here, but you need to know that I'm going to be here. And I felt, you know, I, I hear people talk all the time, you know, well, what does God sound like? You know, he doesn't sound, <laughs> he doesn't sound like these people, but he sounded like peace. I just got a peace. I mean, I'm just sitting there relaxed. And you know, that, that was probably the most overwhelming God moment, you know, during this journey. Then there's other God moments, you know, there, there's the, the, the radiation where I'm struggling, you know, and I'm trying to do it on my own. I'm trying not to be an inconvenience to my family. And I get up that morning, I'm getting ready to leave at 6.30 and my wife looks at me and says, let me take you. No, no, I got this, I got this. And I'm struggling. I mean, it's easy to see. I'm saying, oh, I feel good. That's the only thing that said I feel good was my voice. Everything else about me looked bad. So I get in the truck. And uh, as I'm backing out, I'm struggling. And then, you know, there's another in the fire song from Hillsong United came on the radio. And just, you know, another way of God saying, hey, 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 I ain't gone anywhere. I'm still gonna be there with you. And I needed that. I needed that encouragement because I had a two hour drive, you know, the radiation, then two hour drive. I'm four hours in the car and I'm not doing well. Okay. now. You know, I listen to a lot of Christian music and I've got my, now that I've been to Nashville so many times, I've got my stations. I know when I'm gonna lose one station to pick up another station. And so I lose that first radio station about St. Florine and I turn it over to my second station. First song on, same song. There's another in the fire. And I kind of laughed a little bit, but an hour later I'm up I-65 and I'm starting to struggle again. And about that time I click over to number three on my playlist on my truck and First song on, there's another in the fire. I mean, he just kept saying, I'm there. 